Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> hey guys, Freddy C here. Hope everybody enjoyed their Christmas today because I sure as hell did. And I got to spend time with my family today and we got our presents and everything. I just want to make sure that all my viewers and my subscribers enjoyed today for Christmas. Well, you guys are in for a big surprise today because I'm about to make yet another gameplay of Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. Let's go back to story mode and continue with the Brothers Drake. I honestly really wish they would just swap out the words and say, The Drake Brothers. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you guys agree with me? <clears throat> okay, so it's going to start with this chapter, which is basically a flashback leading back to when Nathan and Sam were younger, and they found the place where apparently their mother's stuff was sold to by their father before they went to the orphanage. And details are still a little sketchy about their dad, but I guess more will be revealed as we explore more of the house. Mm. Also, I think this chapter is going to reveal about how Sam and Nathan got their new last name, Drake, in the first place. So I guess this whole thing is going to explain how it all started. And so, as we, you know... As we load up on the chapter, I just want to let you guys know, <clears throat> I, seriously, I really hope you guys enjoyed Christmas, and I hope you guys had a wonderful time with your families and your loved ones and, and all that stuff, and especially the kids, too, you know? Got to keep that Christmas spirit up for the kids, especially, you know? Because without the Christmas spirit, how the living hell are you going to enjoy the best holiday of the entire year? Like, like, seriously, you know? And here we go. We're back in action in the story mode. Well, there it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I have no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. Yeah, that's what you think, Sam. And here we are. Whoa. All right, chapter what sixteen. The brothers Where Drake. Start? We start by finding a way in, and then we can take the grand tour. Any treasures around here that I might be missing? You think this place has an alarm? I'll have to look for that later. <clears throat> Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay. Give me your hand. <clears throat> Careful, boys. Really risky. Ah, oh, there's the open window. Come on, Nathan. Oh, crap. Whoa. Huh. Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Oh, what's this? <clears throat> nope. Mm, nothing in here. Books. Huh. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had something to eat earlier. Nope. Uh, 
canteen, some boots. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Yeah, what was that over there? Miss Evelyn? Huh. Sam? Down we go. Oh. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Yeah, no kidding. Talk about hoarding. I mean, look at all this stuff. Oh, that might be it. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. <laughs> White leather, huh? Yeah, we're gonna find a lot more of those as we keep searching. Wait, hold on. What's in this room? Another letter. What does this one say? Oh. Is this your house? Whoops. Huh. Impressive. Eddie. Greetings from Peru. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I'm not gonna read hey. the whole thing. These boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just going to move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Well, I guess that explains why you never really got along with your dad very well. That's hey, sad. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Of course it is, right? <clears throat> uh, you sure about that? Because... Uh, budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the Ooh. hell? An Egyptian sarcophagus? Some sort of sarcophagus. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. <laughs> Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> huh. So this one's Egyptian. What about this one? Hmm. Huh. This one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. What about that one over there? Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar too? On second thought, maybe not. <laughs> hey, you recognize that one? Uh. I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Etruscan? Yeah. Husband <laughs> and wife. And buried together. It's kind of dark. And like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least they're reunited. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? It wouldn't surprise me.
Wow. Real treasures. Oh. Huh. There's one of the jars. Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Ah, it's Anubis. That is so cool. Uh, what else? Well, that's ancient Egyptian. Just looking at this stuff makes me want to be an archaeologist in real life. Kind of what I should have been. Ooh, the samurai! Nice. Okay. Let's keep moving. Another room. Ah, here's another box. Another one. <sighs> nope. University of Tehran. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> uh, I was the funny one. Always was. No kidding, Sam. Whoops. Excuse me there, big brother. Wine bottles. <laughs> Been to a vineyard before or something? Huh. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> Dr. Nice. Livingston? Who is that guy? That looks cool. Oh, what's this? Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. Join us at the Adventurer's Lodge Annual Holiday Gala. Huh. Wonder where that took place. Nice kitchen set. Ooh, a globe. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's give it a spin. We go... India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Yeah, it's a nice landmark. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Ah, Russia. Sorry, man. Not desirable right now at the moment. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. Windsor Castle? It wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay. One last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah. That too. Huh. Ooh, what's this? I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I'll get there myself one day. Lhasa? Where's that located in the world? Hey. Hey, check it out. <laughs> eh, that's pretty cool. Nathan Drake in a Roman... Outfit or helmet. It's hot in there. Got Roman armor. Ooh, that's scary looking. Uh, 
What else? Is there any other armor in here? No? Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, what's this? Fertility totems. <laughs> Are you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, never too old. Fertility totems? <laughs> stuff that tells me I shouldn't have showed that. <laughs> But it's just a stone. Oh, what's wow. this? This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Oh, all these rifles, though. Man. Flintlock rifles. I wonder if they still work. Probably not. Oh, check it out. Medieval weapons. Now, nah, this is getting interesting. Maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. Oh, yeah. Huh. What's this? Going in alone. Oh, nice magazine. A dragon gong. Hmm. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. Southeast Asia? More like Vietnam? Or Thailand or something. Look at these. Compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only thing standing between death and salvation. Yeah. It's crazy. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? <laughs> Must be something. Across the latest issue of Adventure Life, or surprise, and way to see grace. Huh. Attached to the photo of Edmund's graduation, top of his class. Guess we did something right. Yeah, can. Oh, wow. Looks like somebody you knew. Hmm, what's over here? There's lots of flowers. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made up history. Even the author's name is a fake. And you spelled pirates wrong. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. Okay, moving on. Transfer. Huh. Now nah, let's not play that. Oh, what's this? Burnt letter. Guess whoever read that didn't really like the offer. Samurai. Okay. You recognize the crest? Uh, Hollyhock leaves our, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. 
Smart kid. Okay. I don't think mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh, let's check upstairs. Oh, something was over there. <clears throat> I don't know, you could stand corrected. Damn it. Nope. Dreams about everything in the world, but nothing from mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Big house, more like mansion, actually. Jousting armor. Looks French. It is French. I tell you, this kid's a genius. Hmm, it's locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. That one's locked too. Huh, hello. Get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. Okay, where to climb? Oh, huh, hello. Oh, a camera. Oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. A smile, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Don't Polaroids. Yeah, you just flap it. Yeah, hang on. So you just keep shaking it until it comes out good. Yeah, yeah it's coming out great. Just a couple more shakes. Boop, 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 boop. Nice, that came out perfectly good. Here we go. All right, little Nathan. Up here. Do your stuff. Careful not to knock anything over. that is, but something tells me it's some kind of alarm or a smoke detector. Best not we best not trip it. Okay. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Uh that would suck if you were. Nope. Back this way. Oh, hello. That caused a lot of noise. All right. Oh. Okay. I'm in. Can you get the door open? Uh, hold on. <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. <sighs> it's locked from this side too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? Oof. Whoever lives here must be really sick. Aww. Cute. Huh. Got it. Key. That should unlock the door. Huh. 
Oh, what's this? Yellow was holding it. Oh, wow. Well, that's sad. Hmm. Guess someone got angry with her or something. Okay. So, anything? Didn't see any journals. Well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. That it? Nope. Oh, the light's a little too bright. Uh, what's this one? Hmm. No. Toronto? That's in Canada. Oh, this might be it. Impressive. What do you got there? I've never seen this one. Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely Mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Oh God. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, hey you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, Nathan. It's the woman that lives here. So what now? Now, we wait for the police. Oh, great. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. Hmm. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it, he had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's voice. What? Uh, hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might. So, uh, do you mind? At least she knew their mom. I don't know if that's a good idea. You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed. I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> that's sort of an understatement. So... Mom was like your translator? 
your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness... And... Illness? I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Oh. Of all her discoveries... This would have been her crowning achievement. Sick harvest magna. Greatness from small beginnings. So Francis Drake's motto. Yeah. Latin and historical figures. Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. Whoa. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Famous collector, but... Yeah. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh oh. Copperamas are here. Yeah, so, uh. We're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> Oh, that explains a lot. Sorry about the mess. Hmm. All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Oh, is she okay? Are you okay? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Hey. 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 She's gone. Sam? Sam? Oh, Khalid. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. You can't just leave her here. It's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Okay, just follow Sam. Oh, great. They're gonna think they killed her. Oh, shit. Window, window, come on. Run, boys, God. run! Go, just go, boys. Hurry. Wait up. Gotta be quick. Gotta be really quick. Crap. Careful. Yeah, careful, kid. Run! This way. Run, kids! Go, 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 kid, go! 
Run, run, run! Sorry, officer. Gotta run. Yeah, come on, run! Stop, God damn it! Run! Oh shit! They're bolting! The dumpster. Come on. Okay. At least I didn't get caught. Or, I should say, I did get stopped. Alright, hold on tight. Where were they, in Boston? I'd say we're clear. But we catch our breath for a second. Because it looks like they're in Boston. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. It's okay to feel bad, but there was nothing we could do about it. Yeah, that's true. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. We can't go back to your job. And we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. This. Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives with brand new identities. What are you talking about? I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name, Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? <laughs> You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake. And that is how he got his name. This explains everything. Everything changed after that. We became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. Aww. For a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. <laughs> That's true. And after I lost him, I, after I thought I lost him. You didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. Well, at least Elena knows the truth now. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. Oh, come on. But... It's a lot. It is a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
certainly glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you, uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Sully. Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. And now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Yeah, tell him everything, Nate. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar... No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean... the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? <laughs> yeah. Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. But you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. I bet you did. Well, this will have to come to an end of this gameplay right here. I think I got enough time to do at least one more gameplay before I officially hit the hay for tonight. So, um... Once again, guys, I really hope you all enjoyed your Christmas today. You know, Christmas is the best time of the year to spend time with your family, your loved ones, definitely your kids. Definitely enjoy yourselves this holiday season because, honestly, well... <laughs> oh, man, I almost dropped my remote. <laughs> I'm such a goofball. Right, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Christmas... I always consider this my favorite holiday of the year because it's always, always one of the best times to spend time with your family. Like, you know, your parents, your siblings, your aunts and uncles, definitely your grandparents, definitely your wives and your kids, the whole family, okay? Because, to be honest, if you don't have the Christmas spirit in you, how are you going to enjoy yourself? Seriously, how? I'll tell you. You won't be able to because you wouldn't have it in you. I say, no matter how old you get, hang on to that Christmas spirit, guys. Honestly, just hang on to it. Keep it in you. And no matter how old you get, never let it go. All right? Never stop believing. Especially for your kids. If you guys have any kids, definitely hang on to that Christmas spirit, especially for them. Okay? But anyways, other than that, guys, I really want to thank you for watching this video. I know it's been a couple of days since I made a couple of videos, but you know what? I had to take the time to spend with my family, and I did. We all enjoyed ourselves. We had a nice little dinner. We had a great time together, and now I'm back in action, and I'm ready to do some more videos for you guys, which may conclude this video. But the next one will continue where we left off. So, if you guys like this video, drop some likes if you want. All right, it's up to you guys. You are more than welcome to drop any comments in the comments section below this video. And uh, I know I said uh, to hit the bell icon to be notified about my future uploads. Uh, I kind of came to realize something... You, you actually do that once you subscribe to my channel because apparently your subscription is also activating the bell icon because it's it's merged together into one. I kind of realized that a couple days ago. And 
I didn't realize it until then. So, yeah. So, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really appreciate that. Just don't be afraid to switch on those notifications if you have the apps on any of your phones. If, it, if the app is capable on any phone, like a Samsung Galaxy or an iPhone or anything, any device that has the YouTube app. If you have that app, don't be afraid to switch on those notifications once you subscribe to me because if you don't do that, how are you going to know whether I uploaded something or not? <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's up to you guys. You, you can do whatever you want. But anyways, guys, I want you all to have a very Merry Christmas and... I will see you in the next gameplay, and until then, this is Freddy C. signing off. Merry Christmas, guys. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> All right, see you in the next gameplay, guys.